Welcome everybody to my latest video. Now for anybody who's interested or curious, I'd like to show you a couple things that I, that I uh, recently acquired probably about a week or so ago. Now if you've seen my latest videos, you'll recognize this area as my Street Fighter 4 slash PlayStation 3 area. My little home-built uh, Japanese inspired candy cab. Now as you've known, the, this uses the Mad Cats Tournament Edition Street Fighter 4 joysticks. Well, about a week or so ago, I got another one. So I got one, two, and three. Now, the main reason that I got another one is because, you know, joysticks break, and even though if one of these joysticks over here was to become broken, or need a repair. I know I could easily fix it, but I would have to order the parts and you know wait about a week and for that week I would only be down to one joystick. So one of the reasons I got this one over here was basically as a backup. Another reason is because these joysticks are actually pretty good. I would highly recommend them. They're probably one of the best joysticks um, I've ever used and they're very comfortable on the hands. I especially like the button layout. But anyways, like I said, I got this about a week ago. You know, it's nothing you guys haven't already seen. It's pretty close to brand new as you can get. I picked this up for sixty dollars. Now if you look online, these sticks usually go for at least a hundred dollars. Some people charge as much as hundred and fifty dollars and you have other people who are charging obscene amounts. I think one of the reasons is because this particular model has been discontinued. But like I said, I got this for 60 bucks. The guy said um, he'd only used it a couple times and I'm not even sure if he used it at all. Because when I got this, it appeared to still be sealed. Um, I opened it up, obviously, as you can see. I didn't see any fingerprints on here or anything. The cord that's in the back over here it looked like it had never even been um, taken out of the compartment so that's a good deal I think like I said sixty bucks couldn't pass it up now my other boxes I, I saved the boxes that those joysticks came in um, I like the design of the boxes and I kinda just decided to add to the visual representation of my primary game room so I set them up there. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Got one over here on top of my uh, slot machine. Got a little Jason and uh, Freddy um, references going there. And on my other slot machine I got the other box and some uh, aliens and colonial marine uh, toys right there. So this box I'll probably just put down there in the middle. I don't know. Um, I hate to get rid of the boxes because if all else fails, they make good uh, storage boxes for the arcade sticks. Now, let me go ahead and show you something else that I got, um, like I said, about a week ago. Okay, here we are. Um, a fellow YouTuber here uh, sent me a message, and he was interested in seeing if we could come up with a trade for some extra arcade stuff that I had available and what he wanted were some of the brackets that I used to um, be able to install American style HAP um, arcade sticks on my cab here and he was also interested in an extra CPS 2A board that I have so those were the two things he wanted and I had no use for them anymore um, I got extra A boards uh, still available and the brackets that I used right here um, I got a bunch more of them um, people have actually been uh, asking about them for quite some time so I've been selling them I just make them at my work and my spare time but anyways I also gave them some extra joystick parts nothing fancy um, just like some cherry switches but in return he sent me these books right here and these things are pretty cool especially if you're a Capcom fan or a Street Fighter fan and I'm not sure if I'm gonna pronounce this correctly but I think they're made by a company called Udon Udon 
Um, I don't know, but there it is. U D O N. Now this first one right here is it's basically an art book on various Capcom games. Now most of it is Street Fighter, but you also got Dark Stalkers, Rival Schools, uh, Resident Evil, and it's just basically artistic pictures. Looks like this came from a comic book, but there's some. What is that right there? Looks like a mixture. Uh, that's Fighting Evolution. Evolution, actually. Um, there you go. Morrigan. Rival Schools. Got some more Dark Stalker stuff. And they're just art books. So it's pretty interesting to know the different um, ways people have drawn these characters. I guess they're from various comic books or other material. Like I said, most of it is Street Fighter, but you do got some other stuff. So they're actually pretty cool. I never had anything like this, so I decided to get it. Let's see what we got here. We got a Capcom Tribute, Street Fighter, Dark Stalkers, Rival Schools, World of Capcom, Capcom Fighting Evolution, and a special tutorial. Now the other book behind here that I also got from the fellow YouTuber, and I'm sorry, I can't quite remember his name off the top of my head. Um, I got this one right here. It's a Street Fighter tribute, and this book is all Street Fighter. And again, it's just like an art book. There we go, that's one, that's one of my favorites right there. Let's see if I can find it. Where is it? God damn it. Here we go. Chun-Li and the Hadoukens. It's like a rock group. <laughs> Got Ken, Ryu, Dan, and Akuma. And Chun-Li is the lead singer. I wish I could make that into a poster. I'm going to see if I can do that and place it on the wall. Um, but yeah, we got some other... Okay, we're back again. Uh, sorry about that. But anyways, um... Like I was saying, these art books are pretty cool. I like them a lot. So, I'm not sure where I'm going to put them, but somehow I'm going to put them in this arcade room because, well, they're just too damn cool looking not to be. So, yeah, not bad. Like I said, got both of these, and I trade the guy an extra CPS2 A board, some, um, brackets I made. Um, by the way, he, the reason he wanted the brackets is he wanted to do the same thing I did and he also has a, a Jalico Pony Mark IV. Um, I also gave him a few joystick parts like cherry switches, um, deconstructed uh, joysticks, but I think it was a good deal. Like I said, in a way it cost me nothing um, except just to ship him the stuff. That only costs like five, six dollars, I think. Shipped it from my work. So, yeah, just a small update. Nothing major. Somehow I got, I got, somehow I got to figure out uh, where to put the books, but, so, there you go. Small update. And, until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.